Welcome everybody. You're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today we're doing a how to add subtitles for YouTube videos the easy way and for free. Let's get into this. This is my latest video. We're going to go in to editing. We're going to go into our where you would edit your file. So after you've added your punctuation and kind of the feel of how you would like your video to look, you save this file, publish your edits. All right. So we publish these edits. Then what we can do is we can go back here, refresh, and then I can download this file. So I save this file. If you look down at the bottom left, you go on to Google and then you just will look for um, subtitle edit. And then it's this first one right here. So you go into this and then you need to go into subtitle edit online and then just choose a new file. And then you need to open Find your file that you're looking for. Choose the uh, frame rate. For me, I'm using the lowest frame rate. Then I have my file imported in. Choose the language that you want to use. This just use, I don't know, we could use anything. Let's use Russian. So we use a Russian right here. And then scroll down to make sure that everything was converted before you hit OK. Just to double check real quick. Save everything. Download this as an SRT file. I could close this out. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to use a terminal as well as going into my downloads. After I take the file from my downloads, I place it onto my desktop. Then I'm using a Vim editor. You can use the editor of your choice. And you're going to see why I have to do this. So I call on the file. And here's our, here's our stored Russian file format. Now, why did I have to use this editor? Since I use punctuation within my data, you can see that this becomes a problem. You see this? These notations, these tags, they look similar to uh, HTML tags, right? The problem is when you do your subtitle uh, or closed caption editing within YouTube and then send it to the online application that we use to do the translation, you end up having these issues here after you create your punctuation. So what I figured out is to do some uh, regular expressions formatting. So here, what you want to do is hold down the shift and then hit the colon. And if you look at the very bottom here, on the bottom left, you'll see something interesting. And what happens is the there's commands that you can use. And I'll show you the commands that I've used previously. And you just We'll need to copy these okay so the first one is using the percent small s and then you have a slash and then you'll see like a lesson operator and then you know um, a forward and a backslash and a font and then two more slashes and a g and what that's doing is it's taking care of these right here these ones right here so then after you type that in you need to press enter and then you'll see it says 276 substitutions so you notice that it got rid of that right but now you still have these tags and when you get rid of these tags you're gonna see something so we'll push shift and then colon once again and then now we need to get rid of those so now the new thing that you need to put in is percent sign small s and then you'll finish it off with these right here and then press enter once again and you'll see let it perform the substitutions but it got rid of the little on uh, notation here that you need to get back because this is the timing for our SRT file. So we'll do another command where we do shift colon and then you have this last one here where we're going to replace with the original formatting that we had. So if you're unfamiliar with what's going on here, this is called a find and replace. And this is uh, how you do the formatting in the Vim editor. All right. I'm using a Mac if anybody's curious. So you do this and then it performs the substitutions and fills in for the notation that we had above. Now you need to save this. Now you do shift colon W for write, Q for quit. Now you save this file. So it's in the proper formatting. We need to go back in to 
YouTube and we're going to add a language and let's find Russian we have Russian we go here you upload your file you choose your file I upload my file now make sure everything looks good in here and we're good to go we publish this we see now we have Russian we can hit the past page we refresh now we have Russian now we need to do the title and the description here so in order to do this you need to go to Google Translate and what you do is you just copy this paste it in choose the language you want hit the copy button go back in here paste it in and do the same thing with the rest of the information that you want and then just publish this and do the same thing for all of the other translations you would like to do. I would like to say thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.